Hey guys, this is a 1997 Acura RL. I'm changing the alternator. And if you're changing the alternator, might as well change the belt. This is a Continental from Auto Zone. All right, you might as well change that belt. So I've seen some videos where people are saying, or that you can't, you don't, you don't have to remove this. This is gonna be, this part right here makes the whole job hard. This part is a freaking pain in the butt. So I'm just putting it all back in together now. Obviously you gotta take the battery tray out, which is four screws. Here it is right here. This is, this is the whole tray for the battery. Okay, so this, when you put everything back, you put this bolt in here and then you, you use a small wrench or whatever you have to tighten this up to bring, so this, when you tighten this up, this brings this alternator back further to, to put tension on the belt. There's a bottom bolt down here, which is, here's your top one, and then there's a bottom one down here which is a 14 millimeter. Don't tighten that one up yet when you're putting it back. You have to do this first. Once you get it to the position where this is where you need it to be, I don't know the specs of how tight this is gonna be, but I would figure maybe no more than a quarter inch play, I would assume. So once you set this up, then tighten the bottom one. First, tighten this up. Once you install this, tighten the crap out of this. Tighten this up. This has nothing to do with this. This just holds it in place, so just tighten this up. Once you tighten this up, the bottom one should be loose. This you could tighten up too, because this is just for the bracket. This is just this bracket. So tighten the bottom one up, but not super tight yet. Leave it loose so that, so that this can move back and forth. So once you set this straight, once this is set, then you can tighten up that bottom bolt, tighten the crap out of it. So when you're removing this, when you're removing this and you remove the bolts, you have to use a crowbar to get this alternator off of this bottom bracket. You have to like put a crowbar under there and move it a little bit so that it pops off of the bottom. Then then it'll it'll be all loose in here. So once you get it off there, there's three bolts that hold this in underneath. It's like a triangle. There's three of them. You can feel it with your hand. First, you gotta remove this too. There's a screw that goes in here. Remove that. There's three bolts that you could get in here with uh, with just the, uh, with, a, with a racket wrench, a racket wrench and, uh, and the socket, which I think it's a 12 or a 10, whatever it is. You can you can get to maybe two of them, but once once you remove it and it starts getting loose, this once you pop this off of this position and you and you you can push it down so it's lower away from this so that you have room with your ratchet to get in there. So you'll see you'll have one bolt left you'll have one bolt left and this whole thing will be able to move around. Then you'll have a lot of room to get this out. And then you got the two, then you got your plug in the back and you got that one big nut. You got this right here with a, with a plug and a boot, okay? And then here's your little green plug, which I used a screwdriver actually when I got the bracket I was able to get my hand in there and pinch the two, the two sides and pull the plug out this right here is also a little tiny screw like an eight millimeter to get like a harness bracket off that's holding this whole harness to the alternator now I couldn't get it back on on the new alternator so I left it out but all it is is a clip holding the harness onto here now, when you, the same harness is going here and here. So it ain't going anywhere. So since I was having too much of a difficult 
you know, time trying to get this in. I just said, screw it. I left it out and just put this in here and this in here. And once you tighten this up with the boot on, this harness ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. So I wouldn't be too concerned about putting the harness back on here if you have a hard time. Because I, I had a hard time. And I, I kind of gave up easy. Well, not easily. I, I gave it about 25 minute fight and I couldn't do it. And plus it's cold out here today. It's like 25 degrees. My hands are freezing. So, so that's about it guys. So you gotta remove this bracket in order to get this out. There ain't no way you getting this out without taking this bracket out. You gotta remove this bracket. And then once when you put it back in, this bracket, you can start off with one bolt, start putting them all in with your hand while this is all the way just sitting down in there. Make sure it's behind this though. When, you, when you're putting all this back, make sure the alternator is just sitting on the, you know, in there in this pocket, but behind this and the bottom. You'll see when you get it in there. Start screwing up all these screws in there. I got them all tight. I just used the socket and, a, and, a, and an adapter with my hand and got it tight enough. And then I used the wrench and I was able to tighten them all up, tighten. So the only thing I left out was that little tiny screw holding the harness. As you can see, this is the whole harness here. It's... It's down here. It's like, it, it, there's just so much being secured. You don't need to worry about that little screw. I wouldn't worry about it. Putting the little uh, clip onto that little screw that I showed you before. So that's about it, guys. So this is a 97 Acura RL. This one has 127,000 miles. All right, so don't forget. Might as well change that. All right, guys, thanks. See you next time.